what's happening my friends welcome to my channel it's your girl i'm pearl woods ali arts the whole thing with many names or you call me aliana whichever one floats your boat or is your cup of tea thank you for joining me on Perla's playhouse so currently i'm moving out of my apartment my apartment in Pennsylvania. no sadness been a great experience i've been here for six months and in a couple days i'll be moving to baltimore so i'm actually currently about to go to virginia i'm gonna burn some stuff there come back let's see what's today today's thursday going to virginia today coming back on either saturday or sunday finish packing and then monday i will be going to baltimore so me and alexi about to take a road trip i'm gonna go to Woodbridge and Stafford first and go see some family, my cousins and my auntie. Let's get on the road. gets off work at six so when she gets off work i'll go see her and then i'm gonna stay there for the night and go home to my home hampton rose at 5 7 tomorrow morning wish me safe travels for this next four and a half hours i made it i made it to woodbridge to my cousin's crib and we about to go in. I actually been here for a couple hours. I brought some snacks. What's that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh damn! I forgot. I They're healthy snacks. Sure. You can, you what you got? Thing. My cousin. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, back to um, what I was about to say. So we were just talking about my new subject matter from my art is exploring how nature affects our destinies and what pops up on Instagram just now, which like I already signed up. <laughs> how to respond to nature with personal meaningful photographs. Illuminated. Isn't that really close to my subject? Cause we was talking about how the ads be listening to our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And you know what's even crazier is I haven't had a Facebook since I was 17 and I had a meeting in which I had to use Facebook Messenger for whatever reason, like I had to. Mm -hmm. So I made my own Facebook. Mind you, I had no friends or nothing. Mm -hmm. Everybody that came up in my suggestions were people that I like knew automatically. Like, but I had no friends. I haven't had a Facebook since I was 17. Mm -hmm. They'd probably have... be searching you, that's why. <laughs> how, would, how would they know my last name? Like, it's just, uh... I don't know. Mm. The shit was weird. That is. Maybe, like, whatever you put. It's not even people from high school. It's people that I'd be around now. So it just makes it even more. Mm. They got us down to an algorithm. The internet is a computer. It's a system. Life is one big system and computer. The internet is the same thing at a more advanced and technological way. So at this point, the internet is its own world but it exists because of our a world within the world mm -hmm. you, ever, you heard of the metaverse yeah that shit's scary right i mean it's just what, just the what future. it could be that's yeah. what it is i mean it's it but i just feel like no you feel like it's too much <laughs> yeah it is i don't even know how to use the metaverse and nothing like i just know i don't know i do feel like it was, it's inevitable. I mean, yeah, everything evolves. Exactly. It's just crazy that the internet's evolving to a more internet, like. The internet is evolution. Yeah. It made the world smaller. 
it's like we're in the third dimension the internet is fucking past the fifth dimension it's probably not even a dimension right it's like a spin-off it's a fucking spin-off it's just an electronic system a shared it's just a shared file yeah you know what one big ass file and they blowing me up in this job, this job. I know. But, so what you were saying earlier, this is what made me go get my camera. You, um, when I told you about my subject changing to this nature series, you said, oh, like the planets and eclipses. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I didn't think about that, but yeah, definitely. And then you said, oh, you mean like uh, how we need the bees for, you know, like pollen and shit and the elephants the ecosystem Break. yeah yeah how they without them our ecosystem wouldn't exist and i didn't think about that either but i did think about animals like i just knew animals and trees and just nature in general but i haven't i haven't started to like dissect this shit so you kind of just helped me like add a branch to the direction that i need to be going so in. what did you have already just the, how like, name? just uh, how nature uh, yeah just the name, the name? <laughs> Let me write this down real quick. Oh, I don't know about this, uh, taking this. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you sign up for. What are you talking about? This job. If your heart ain't in it. Thanks for helping me have a mini breakthrough right now. Oh, for this? Yeah. Because it unleashed a passion that I forgot about. When I started doing photography, I was shooting landscapes. I wasn't even shooting portraits or self-portraits. I was shooting landscapes and then I moved to doing self-portraits and that's when my stuff got more actually no even my landscapes were cinematic my shit's always been cinematic but self-portrait thing and the portraits and the me performing in front of the camera is something that just it wasn't my original plan yeah but it's become a part of the plan it always been my things as a child really to be an actor yeah what made you like want to be an actor? Probably, I went to this Christian academy as a child. It was also a school, but since I went for daycare, I found about found out about the play late. So like everybody had got day parts, and I wanted. I asked uh, the teacher. I said, Miss Patsy, mm -hmm. I'll be in the play if I could play the main angel. And she was like, I already gave that part to this boy Isaiah, but you could be the uh, understudy or something like that. I was like five years old, but I automatically wow. knew what that meant. Like I knew what that meant. Like, wow. I knew what that meant automatically, and like yeah. so since I was only there for like um daycare when i would see isaiah i just learned all his lines and i was just rehearsing in front of him and then when it came time for the play he didn't show up so you played it yeah oh my <laughs> i got a picture and like since i was wow. the main angel i was the only angel with wing wow yeah that is dope as fuck so act right now let's do act some improv right now. you want to do some improv okay some improv <laughs> all right first off spit your gum out when you're talking to me what <laughs> my sister sent me a picture I'm about to read it. Zola got in trouble again today. This is what her incident report says. Zola took a book and a cushion from the library area. When the teacher asked her to put the book away, she ran from the teacher and began to hit four students with the book when they tried to get it from her. <laughs> Zola was spoken to by Ms. Donna as to why the whole class, as well as the whole class that they need to follow directions given by the teacher and we keep our hands to ourselves and do not hit other students. Oh my gosh. Here's my response. I'm back on the road. I'm currently in Stafford, Virginia. I'm about to go to Newport News, 757, Hampton Rose, VA, all day, every day. Oh, I had a great time with my cousins and aunt. Uncle, and now I'm going to finish my adventure. Got a about a two and a half hour drive to the Hampton Roads. I'm about to put my shit on cruise control and cruise my way down to the southeast. Um, this morning I realized how much I genuinely like being on the road. It's like really just peaceful. You know, one of my favorite things to do is absolutely nothing. So these trips be forced me to do absolutely nothing. Plus, I've talked about it before, but 
the many revelations and energy clearing that happens while I'm on the road are immaculate. The scenery. It doesn't really look that great. The screen. It's pretty gloomy out today, but the colors are still vibrant. Look at Lexi. She's hiding her tree. Get it, girl. Get it. Hide that tree, girl. Hide it. Let's go. I am curly at Fridays with your girl. Hey, I'm gonna be today. Y'all remember Soul Hood Tea? We in the building. First of all, I'm gonna need y'all to say happy birthday. 27. I'm 27 now. You gotta take these shots. I ain't ready. Oh, dang, you ready. I take it too far. I always go too far. I get really into it. I have my tactics. I've had some fun in my days. I've been practicing for a long time. Where do you draw the line between seducing and flirting? And what are, what are the two to you? Seducing is like trying to make them like have sex and like get them to want me. Just and what is flirting? Flirting is just like, and my way flirting is telling jokes, it's cracking jokes, like saying the most off the wall things. I, I think that's why some guys may like me, just a, like off of my comedy, how I just keep them intrigued. Always compliment, like the compliments be crazy. But there's, I mean it. it it's not, it, it's very genuine. Damn, you really making me think, like, I should teach people how to do this, because I really be doing it. So you feel like um, your flirtatious is more like natural very, and then very your, sed your seducing ways is like... Okay. Flirtation was natural. The seduction I had to work on over time. Like even some guys, I'm gonna say I use them, but like I would just practice whatever I'm trying to learn with them. Have you ever found yourself flirting slash seducing somebody? <clears throat> To make them fall for you. I've tried yeah. post with no cigar, <laughs> but I didn't avail. Is that the prevail? Okay. Didn't prevail. That's the I had a friend. I didn't realize I was doing this because I am a flirtatious person. This was the first time I like noticed what I was doing, and I don't know if I. I think I was like kind of seducing, but in a flirtatious way. And this guy, one of my friends, he was like. Are you doing that on purpose? I'm like, what you mean? He's like, it's just like when the guys like they think what they think. It's the same thing with they what I could you like nigga and get you. For me, it instantly starts, first of all, when I see a, a slim brown skinned chocolate man with locks. And it's just like I lock my eyes in on him. Oh god, you're really gonna put this on YouTube. <laughs> <sighs> Just lock my eyes in on him. I'm sorry, I'm waiting on the process. Okay, thank you. I lock my eyes in on him and. I don't know, I just work my way in. I'm a good conversationalist. A mixture of conversation, comedy, smarts, and wits, and just mix it all in. Thank you, happy birthday to me. Yeah, you gonna bust out on the song now. I thought y'all light a candle and stuff. Yeah! I mean, we can, but... Yeah, can we get a candle? I don't have a candle. I mean, I can't. They want to have a birthday song. Okay. You ready? You ready? You gonna teach me? Teach you. Because I ain't did it yet. You ready? Yo, I'm ready. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tori. So hood to in the building. We're out in Richmond. We just took a day trip. Why do I look like 
Dang, why my eyes look like yo? I'm sticky. I'm tired. You should have got what I got. I'm alive. I'm alive. After a hangover, I'm alive. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> this is life. <laughs>